Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Please excuse the lack of makeup, but for this video it would not have been appropriate because today I thought I would show you guys how I shape my eyebrows. And I have been letting these puppies grow for months. <laughs> and I know some of you are probably, you know, maybe you can tell, maybe you can't tell. Some of you are maybe thinking I can't really tell that. Some of you are thinking, oh my gosh, this girl overplucked her brows back in the day. No, I didn't. This is literally how my brows have, you know, always been and how they are naturally. So I'm going to zoom in a little closer, maybe a lot closer so you guys can see because I don't have extensive brows. I don't have really big brows to begin with. My brows are, before I zoom in any further... Uh, my brows, they're not, they're not straight. They are curved. They're kind of like, they're kind of the shape of a parenthesis, maybe. Kind of like an emoji frowny face. Mm. 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 What is that? <laughs> anyway, so they're kind of like, you know, a frown. They're just uh, rainbow shaped. I don't know, whatever you want to call it. And that's how they've always been. I don't, I do have I, I don't know if you would call that an arch or not. There is an arch, but it's not the traditional eyebrow arch shape. So I'm going to come in really close and just kind of show you guys. Hopefully you can see what I'm dealing with. You know, my brows are um, fairly light and in the summertime often blonde because, you know, I'm, I'm a natural redhead, kind of a strawberry blonde. And so, you know, they bleach in the summertime from the sun. But what you will see is, you know, just kind of this uh, upside down frowny face shape. <laughs> and what I get is I get little strays that grow in here. Can you see them? And then I get a few, maybe like two or three that kind of just grow up here. Um, I don't really get kind of unibrow situation. I get little like, you know, there's kind of like little baby peach fuzz in there, which I can get rid of that if I want to or not. It doesn't really matter. And then, you know, here at the front, the front isn't, is a little darker and a little thicker than the rest. You can see that I have kind of the start of an arch here, but that sort of overgrowth kind of fills in here. So there just isn't a ton of shape other than the general, you know, shape. And there's not a lot of hair there really to deal with. So whether your brows are like mine or not though i think the way that i handle them will work for anyone you just then need to tailor you know the exact shape to what your brows are like or how much hair you're dealing with or the shape of your natural brow so i'm gonna stay zoomed in and uh, i'm just gonna sh you know show you what i what i use i uh, never, ever, 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 for any reason, ever pluck my brows. Number one, because there's, you know, there's so little hair there to begin with that um, if by chance something doesn't grow back, that could be <laughs> very dangerous for, you know, for my brows. Um, and number two, because brow styles change all the time. And so the last thing I want to do is to, you know, um, on purpose damage you know, the brows that I have and then not be able to kind of adjust as the trends adjust. Now, I always keep a natural brow anyway. I don't really, um, when I'm, when I'm coloring and filling in my brows, I really just add a little bit of additional color so they kind of, you can kind of see them a little better, but I don't, um, make them thicker, uh, or really fill them in drastically because it would just, I mean, it would look so fake from far away, let alone, you know, up close. So, and I personally, that's just not a look that I like. It looks really good on girls on camera. You know, there's a lot of girls that do that here on YouTube because it does look really great on camera and it does make your other features stand out on camera and that's fine on camera. I feel weird talking to you from just like my nose up. That's fine for on camera, but for real life, when people see you up close, if you don't think that they are thinking strange things about your brows when you have them that fake <laughs> and that painted on, 
then well they are <laughs> okay let's just be honest they are okay so I don't pluck ever um, I strictly use razors to shape and so there's a lot of different kinds that you can get I have three you know different ones here and um, I mean I beat mine to death <laughs> um, but I I will often use either one like this which you know comes in you know sometimes you get like a multi-pack of different kinds and this one will be on the front and this is actually the one I tend to use the most because uh, I really don't have that much room up here to use anything longer and I personally think if you're using um, one that is too long for the amount of space you have up there that could be a little dangerous I mean you are you know it is near your eyes now these are not as sharp as like a razor that a man shaves his face with or that you shave your legs with but I mean you could do some serious damage if you slipped and or you know did something wonky so here's a bigger one and um, in this one I feel is too big for me here this is one that I would more likely for me use to get like peach fuzz off the face kind of thing but for some of you you know we're all shaped differently you know for some of you you might need something with a little extra length and then here's one that's kind of in the middle shaped the same as this one but you know much smaller and I use this one a lot um, as well and um, these are not sharp like a razor that you shave your face with um, you know they're sharp enough to cut the hair off but it's just a little bit different um, so I just kind of go back and forth usually between these two and use whichever one I prefer and this is really weird saying all of that up close but I just didn't want to zoom back and then zoom back again and then zoom 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 okay so uh, all I do is I basically you know kind of get rid of these little strays here and honestly I mean I really didn't even shape my brows until I was about 35 um, I think letting them grow naturally as long as you know I think some people have really bushy brows and they just do need to shape them but for somebody like me letting them grow naturally I think just makes me look younger so I don't really feel you know I feel neither here nor there about it if they're growing out and I'm just not taking care of them it's fine and if I'm keeping up with them and keeping them shaped it's fine too um, shaping mine because they're so thin does make them thin and so if the style really becomes you know super thick brows then I will just stop shaping them and I will just let the strays grow that's really the only options that I have because I don't have a lot to work with here so all I do is I basically um, you know kind of uh, shave off these little stray ones that grow further down here and then if I want to make the arch a little more visibly obvious whether I have any product on them or not <clears throat> I will start to shave away a little bit <clears throat> excuse me right through here and that just kind of thins up this outer end and gives me a little bit more of a shape of an arch I also kind of shave away these little uh, you know two or three strays that kind of grow up here so I'll go ahead and do those first and those are ones that I could do with the longer one if I want to and I have my mirror over here on the side so I'll be turning this way and I also have a smaller one so I'll try to use the two and see which one really sort of works um, works the best so you can still see me but you know I'm just gonna kind of shave away these few baby strands up here and if you have any you know fuzz in the middle or anything you could you could do this part too doesn't really matter I don't really I don't really have hairs so I have just more fuzz and then the other side and I mean see how easy this is I mean it really is just it's just so easy and it's actually good for your skin I don't know if you can tell but my skin is a little bit dry and it actually helps to remove any kind of dry you know flaky skin as well and now I'm gonna start to work on these little strays down here and I always work from the furthest point up you know I don't go right in here and then go down I kind of get these out of the way and sort of you know check and make sure I haven't done anything you know <laughs> haven't made any major mistake or cut anything off that I shouldn't have and then I sort of work my way up and I kind of just then try to make them resemble each other 
So you guys, I don't even know if you can even see those. You can see them a little bit, but so I'm just going to work at those and just, you know, shave those away. And you will hear, I mean, you can hear that this, these don't shave like a regular razor. You can kind of hear them sort of cut through the, the hairs. So I'm shaving these away, and if I notice that I need a little, you know, shape up here as I go, I'll, I'll go and get any extra sort of strays. And really, if I wanted to, at that point, I, I could stop. Um, and because really, those are the only hairs that are super obvious on me that, um, you know, they're maybe in a spot where uh, we might not want them to be. But... I'm going to go ahead and shape mine a little bit so you can just see how I do that. Um, you can kind of tell just by looking that I have an area here that kind of has a flat line and then it starts to arch right there. And then of course I have strays that fill in here. But this is where my arch basically is going to start. And I can also tell that because it is right above kind of the outer um, portion of my, the colored part of your eye, of your iris. Um, Generally, you want your arch to either start right at the outer edge of that or right in the middle where your pupil is. And so, you know, for me, I just kind of follow the natural shape of my brow and let my natural shape decide, and it's usually right about here. So I will work from the outside in to make that shape. So uh, I'm just going to start to kind of take away a few little hairs kind of starting here at the outside, you know, work at the at the bottom you know, pull the bottom hairs off first and work your way up. And as you work your way up, then you can kind of work your way in. Um, I've done this so many times that sometimes I'll just kind of get in there because I know exactly which hairs I want to take away. So sometimes I'll just kind of get in there and take these middle hairs out because I know that that's where I want my, my arch to start. And I'm just using the very, very tip of this to pull them away. I'm not using the whole bit. I'm using the very tip because that's how I kind of get the shape precise because then you're not kind of whacking away any hairs that you didn't mean to <laughs> um, on accident. So I'm just kind of getting in there where my natural arch starts and cleaning up the hairs. Okay, so can you see you know, this part is still kind of thicker, and I've just now kind of given myself a little bit of a cleaner shape. Um, and if I wanted to make this super thin, I can. There is maybe one or two hairs there that I'll still shave off. And then at this point, the other thing I do is I have some hairs here that are just kind of super long. You know, there, there's one here that he kind of grows all by himself, and it stops right about here. Those few little strays, I kind of um, shave off as well so that it's a little thicker here at the edge. So I'm just going to take those little last ones off. So my brow kind of stops at a nicer angle rather than kind of having one or two random hairs that stick out by themselves. And then I can take just a bottom, like I might take a couple off here just to kind of make that a little more of a point. Um, and that's kind of basically it. And so then I'll just do the other one and I just kind of try to work to make them look the same. So I'm just going to do a few hairs here and get those little strays off. And I know a lot of you are thinking to yourselves, gosh, I have way more brows, <clears throat> you know, than she does. So, uh, you know, it's, this is easy for her to say, right? You know, I understand that. But the whole point of this is that the process for you could still be the same. Some of you might need to go in and kind of brush the hairs up and trim off along the top. Some of you might need to shape the top a little more than I do. Um, you know, it's everybody's brow shape is naturally a little bit different. And the way you want it to look when you're done is, is maybe going to be a little bit different. But the concept is the same. And the reason that I'm showing you this is because I really just want you to, to, to understand how easy it really is. Um, you know, to do it and to maybe encourage you to put the tweezers away. You know, the tweezers are, take longer, they're more painful, and sometimes the damage is permanent. 
this is just so easy um, it's temporary I mean this is something that you could do if you have very thick uh, kind of coarse brows that really show up when this double starts to grow through well rather than having to suffer through them growing out so they can get long enough to pluck them away just every day like when you wash your face at night or just before you start to put your makeup on just give yourself a little quick once over and just shave them right off and you're you're done you know uh, that, that's why I wanted to show you guys this process because it really is just in my opinion so much easier and it's it's less potentially damaging and it gives you a lot more freedom to sort of change your shape really on a day-to-day -day or week-to-week basis if you really wanted to so you can see and this brow is actually a little thicker on the outside than my brow on the right so I usually have to to kind of do a little more on this one um, but I just do it kind of slowly I just do it a few hairs at a time and kind of work my way up until I have the shape that I want again getting those little kind of extra long hairs off the end and that's it you know I just kind of try to make them as even as I can and there you have it so let's say for example maybe the brow arches become much more dramatic like much more extreme where they're kind of like oops, where they're kind of like a, a V shape an upside down V shape well what I would maybe do is um, only shave off a few of these baby hairs and maybe I would shave a little bit off the top you know here and try to shape them down a little more to give me that shape um, you know maybe they some at some point in time they start to be thinner here well then I would just shave this part off a little bit and have it be thinner but it's never going to be a permanent change and that's the important part about it okay so I'm going to back up again and you know just let you guys see I mean that's really it um, you know kind of wipe away the the hairs that have fallen off uh, that's what I do and then when I color my brows I'll just show you uh, because my brows are you know smaller I just don't do anything that major I take a little flat in a brush and some powder or sometimes I'll use uh, you know a pencil like a brow pencil or even sometimes an eyeliner and for me I I will use any color sometimes I use a blonde color sometimes I want my my features to be very dramatic so I'll use even a black eyeliner um, very carefully but I will just add a little extra color in here so that you can kind of tell that this part is a little bit thicker and then I I pull I drag that color out so it helps to uh, really kind of sh you know define the shape a little more and you know just kind of darkens those little blonde hairs that nobody can see and that's really it um, I prefer a natural brow it's great for the girls who are doing you know these really dramatic brows on camera it looks really good on camera but I don't live my life on camera I live it out in the public and so I need to um, have the right balance uh, even though I could probably do a lot more for you guys and look a lot better on camera um, I really need to do my makeup for my everyday life even more than doing it here um, or for here so I'm not I'm not too worried about looking amazing on camera I'm worried more about sharing tips and tricks with you guys and then looking amazing for real life right or at least <laughs> at least acceptable for real life so that's it if you guys have any questions or maybe if you have a difficult you know spot or shape and you're not quite sure what to do with that and you have you know a question about that or what maybe I would do then feel free to ask me um, it's just it's just so simple I think we make it way too hard on you know not only way too hard to do but we make it take way too much time and we're too hard on ourselves um, you know love what you were given naturally and you know make it work for you and make it work in a way that it's 
it's not permanent so you can you can change based on how you feel or based on trends okay so that's it I hope this was helpful you know at least a little bit and you know maybe for some of you who are afraid of shaving and thought it was a more dramatic process than it really is hopefully this kind of calmed your fears and you realize that this is super duper easy and anybody can do it and that's it thank you for watching I'll see you guys next time bye